Hey guys, happy Thursday. How are you today? I was in the mood for a cup of coffee this morning, so I had to use this little mug. I have not put my Christmas mugs up. I tend to keep those in the cupboard all year. I really need to put them away because <laughs> I will use this, this beautiful thing all the time. And can we just talk about this gray? I am coloring my hair maybe tomorrow morning because maybe tomorrow morning that will be fun because I'm I'm doing uh, I think I'm gonna film a vlog tomorrow for you guys for Friday all right um, we are gonna do a throwback Thursday and I could not do a true traditional throwback Thursday if I didn't at least go back to the original video I posted my very first one on YouTube but do you know how long ago that was it was in 2008. <laughs> 2008. That was 12 years ago. Do you know how old I was? I was 34. Oh my gosh. I just want to preface this by saying, <laughs> bless you for watching this. <laughs> I'm going to watch it along with you and then we will chat at the end. Hey guys, this is Sheila. This is my introduction video and I just wanted to kind of introduce myself. Um, I've been a Christian for many years. I've been married for 13 and I have an eight-year-old little girl and twin six-year-olds, boys. I'm a mother, I'm a teacher, I sing in the choir at church and I am making videos just because, just for something new. Shh. I have an audience at the very second, and so they are everywhere. They never leave me alone. They never Everybody, leave me alone. it's my time. <laughs> I was a young mama then. Oh my goodness. That little sweet face. <laughs> he was a, um, at that time, he was he loved being the center of attention and now he's so quiet it's so funny how much kids change um when i go back and watch it i'm just thinking wow my accent was really strong then um i don't know <laughs> you guys tell me what you think a lot has changed since then um i have grown i have matured i didn't have much confidence back then um, now sometimes I think I have too much confidence if that's a thing. Um, wow. A lot has changed though. I no longer attend the church that I attended then. Um, right now we do not have a house of worship. I worship online. Um, just because there's, there's a church in North Carolina that I like. And, um, I used to watch a lot from a church in Tennessee. There's just so many resources. Um, I don't want to go into that kind of stuff as far as why I haven't found a church home. Um, and maybe in a video later down the road, if you'd like, let me know. Some of you may not even care. Um, I no longer teach, as you guys know. Gosh, then, 2008. Would I say the boys were six? So I had been teaching for four years at that point. Kristen is, oh my gosh, Kristen, did I say the boys were six? Couldn't have, well maybe, maybe, she might have been eight. They might have just turned six. That was probably a summer video, right before she turned nine. And of course, you guys know she's 20. She'll be 21 this year. So a lot has changed in our life since then. Um, me as a mother, as a wife, as a person um, and the kids they have blossomed into their own personalities you know when we're parents and we're parenting them we put in so much time and effort into raising decent human beings but at one point they have to take the reins to either be a decent human being or learn the steps to it and we have to kind of cut those and let them be I'm definitely not a helicopter mom I wasn't even then a lot uh, no, not even at that age. I kind of let them experience things. 
because if not, how will they learn how to navigate when you're not around? I don't know. I see so many, there's such a culture change since I was a parent, a young parent compared to now. I don't know that I would want to parent children right now in the world that we live in. The world is completely different. Um, our kids were raised to say yes ma'am and no ma'am and yes sir and no sir and please and thank you and have manners and if someone offered you something you say yes thank you or you say no thank you. But usually kids don't turn down food so it's always yes thank you. <laughs> um, you know they were taught to be kind to their friends. They were taught to be kind to those who weren't so kind to them. It's not taught anymore. And you're, I, there was evidence of that in the classroom. I saw a shift back in probably 2012 is when I noticed the biggest shift in the kids in parenting. Um, and I'm sure there's been another shift since then because that was eight years ago. So I can't imagine. I'm thankful as much as I loved teaching, remind you, remember I taught preschoolers. So as much as I loved teaching them and being with them, I'm really thankful I'm not in that situation anymore. Because at those ages, the teaching doesn't just land in the classroom. It comes from home too. And you have to have that participation. And I don't know, there was a big dynamic shift um, that shifted it in the wrong way. I don't know what happened. Anyway, <laughs> not saying all parents. I'm just saying from what I experienced in a, in a whole setting, not as every single person. It was just as a, as a average, you could see the shift. There were many that were still teaching their kids manners and to be kind and to be sweet and if they had a problem to speak up but oh, I don't know anyway so that is our throwback Thursday what you think that hair oh my gosh <laughs> um what an introduction <laughs> so next week we will do another one and it'll be a little bit longer um I just really wanted to go back to that introduction because I've never shared it um, with any of you. None of y'all have seen it that I know of. So I hope that you have had a fantastic Thursday and that you're prepping for the weekend. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.